I want to talk about my pie cut fixture, which worked beautifully. This is a prototype just to see if the concept would work. So here you go. There's a relief cut in it so your blade won't cut through the back stop. You're going to want to set your auto stop so that it just turns the machine off right as it cuts through or if you can set a adjustable stop for a height limitation on your machine, that's what you're going to want to do. So. This right here is sized very tight slip fit on the pipe 3.03 ID right there for your pipe, which is a three inch outside diameter. Now, you don't need to mark on your pipe or anything like that. No more having to chase 180 degree marks and trying to get it perfect. You already have a mark on your pipe. It's perfect already. The weld seam, use your weld seam. That's what I intended this fixture for. You have, like I said, it's 3.03 inches ID and then I take off on the face of these in the program 0 0.05 inch. So that means that when this is fully closed, you know, it's, it's basically a 16th of an inch gap right here going through as up well right here, which is perfectly centered on the pipe. So you can use that directly on your weld seam for lining up your 180 degree marks. Now I'm gonna slip this inside real quick. Now we're going to slip the pipe inside and I can demonstrate. So, pipe, just go inside. Only one hand here. Bear with me. So there you go. You see your weld mark, you can use that on the on your, your gap seam right there. Now I have the fixture loose right now, just for demonstration purposes. There's a backstop right there. I have this one printed out for a three inch center line radius on a 15 degree uh, bin. So that means each cut seven and a half degrees. As you see, it's all perfectly squared up to the blade. You don't even need to adjust your bandsaw at all. So what you're gonna do, you take this, you load it in your bandsaw, you drop your blade down in there into your little gap. I just eyeball center it, it's close enough. You know, you're not gonna be able to sand it, deburr it and everything, precision, perfect. So I just eyeball centered it right there inside of that. Uh, you know, so your blade's a 0.045. I made this gap right here 0.1. You know, so you got 0.025 on each side of the blade for clearance. Not a lot. So if your bandsaw don't cut straight, you're going to get a little bit of rubbing. So, yeah, or just simply based on how wide the teeth are on your blade, how they kind of bend out, will make it just barely graze the edge of it. I print these things thick, though, so don't even worry about that. So anyways, you slide it through, you clamp it tight, line it up with the mark right there, clamp cut notice the back the bottom stop right there which also helps make sure that you have it lined up right after that cut you loosen the clamp you spin it over notice you got your weld seam right there this right here will be all squeezed up tight there you go squeeze it tighter you just simply line that up right there in the gap clamp it cut it weld it you're done all right i'm going to show you this in real time guys we're about to finish the cut right here I created just enough relief in here so it won't bind on the blade. And make sure you turn your bandsaw off so you don't cut your fixture. It's cut through, we lift it up. There it is. Two pie cut pieces. All right, gonna slide through the pipe. Look in there, you got the weld seam. You line it up with my precision mark right here. Too fucking easy. Make sure the it's still against the backstop back there. To set that backstop, all I did was I set the blade down in the bottom of the, of the relief cut I have down here. Eyeball centered it. Clamped the, clamped the fixture tight real quick just so it wouldn't move. I just simply set a backstop. No measuring, anything required. This right here is a three inch center line radius, 15 degree pie cut fixture, ready to go. Tighten it down, it clamps in on all sides. It's a very tight slip fit in there, 3.03 .03 inches. That's only 0 .03 inches oversized over the precision three inch pipe. This is way too easy. Here we go. Let's lower the, lower the saw back down.
Now what I could do is I could set my, I could adjust my power switch right here so it'll turn off the, turn off automatically as soon as it cuts through so I don't have to worry about it cutting my picture. But I'm just gonna sit over here and babysit it right now. Unfortunately, my saw doesn't have a place where I can set a max, a max height for it. I need to make a tool for that or something. But there you go. World's first pie cut fixture. You don't even have to change the angle of your bandsaw. You just load it and cut it. Go to town.